I'm Moana Turtle and today we are doing a ultra shiny GX box opening. Hidden Fates is so close, it, the countdown has begun and I've been very open to the fact that I'm so hyped. I think this set is going to be twice as big as Unified Minds. And Unified Minds is really good, really solid, great pull rates, but uh, that's just how great Unified Hidden Fates is going to be. So reminder, this is where all the shinies come from. And it's going to be lots of them. I think the ones to go for will be the Charizard. Um, the I think some of the full art supporters will be really good. You got that Cynthia in there, Guzma, but Guzma is rotating out. So that one's not quite as good, but Cynthia is still there. What? I'm surprised there isn't a Lily. That'd be that'd be nice too. So we do have ten packs. Uh, each one of these, this is the Japanese variant. So. Each one has like a hollow, a GX, a shatter rare. And so per box, there are typically two, two SRs, which could be a shiny non-GX Pokemon, could be a gold card, like the Guardians and the, the Necrozma stuff, or a full art supporter. So any of those would be good. And so you get, you get at least two, and every once in a while you get three. So that's definitely what we're going for. And then the SSR would be the GX Shiny. So we're looking for a total of four Shinies in this opening. We have a Zekrom, a uh, Dusk Vein Necrozma, a Lycanroc, and then a Shatter Rare of one of those supporters. Let's see. Am I going to work these piles out? Let's do like that. But yeah, the countdown has begun. Hidden Fates. Uh, people, a lot of people have asking questions. And um, yeah, if you haven't pre-ordered, maybe you still can. Uh, I feel like you can save quite a bit of money by pre-ordering. You know, I think the MSRP of the ETB, which will be the last, but it will be the last thing to come out, but it's going to be the best value in my opinion. Uh, probably MSRPs for like $50, which is totally ludicrous. And if you take action a little ahead of time you I think you can save quite a bit even during release there'll be a lot of opportunities to save a little bit but uh, definitely uh, I think pre-order is the way to go for that so two packs nothing too good uh, it still haven't heard anything about what the ratios will be like so because uh, I guess they could do similar ratios for the ETBs for than than these booster boxes since they both have 10 packs um, now, ooh, here is our SSR. We got a Gardevoir, one of my favorites. As far as the GX Pokemon go, um, I feel like the top ones will be Mewtwo, Charizard, Rayquaza, Gardevoir, and then all the evolutions. I think those will be among the top to get. But ah, I feel like we pulled a couple of these Gardevoirs and I really like it. I think this blue is pretty good. And, uh, you know, the Gard Gardevoir community day for Pokemon Go just happened, so a lot of hype around that. And, uh,. Very solid hit right there. Double sleeve this bad boy. So one shiny down. Hopefully three more to go. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment how excited are you for Hidden Fates? Do you think I'm hyping up more than it should be? Let me know. I really don't think so, obviously. But if you got a beast ring, the only thing I don't like is if you're a competitive player. Like there's very few cards, you know, like that Cynthia I kind of mentioned. But then everything else. Here's the Eevee. That's a good Eevee to get. Uh, that's a cool Dancy. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is no longer relevant. If this was released, I don't know, as early as like six months ago, I feel I'm curious about this timing. You know, it's right after Unified Minds. I am very, I feel very confident in saying that it will affect Unified Mind sales. Uh, and why was this not? time so all these cards can still be in the standard rotation you know i think that would be a great thing you go to tournament and you show off all your shinies that's oh and here's the dark trick shiny so this is the evolution from rowlet very nice um i feel like a lot of times the the middle evolution is not as nice with charmeleon being the obvious exception yeah as far as like shinies go eevee uh the Charmander, Charmeleon. Uh, what else is there? Baby Buzzwall, if you like it. I mean, you know, some of the Ultra Beasts. But uh, those are probably the main ones. 
Maybe I'm missing one or two. <clears throat> but uh, let's see, we got a fan rotom. We still got four or so more packs. I think this is a counter energy. Quagsire. Unless, yeah, unless they kind of do more reprints than, than I'm kind of expecting. Uh, that would be one of my complaints about this set is, yeah, what if people want to play standard? Here's that Gardevoir again. And bodybuilding dumbbells. Because I think very soon, yeah, I think it's Celestial Storm or later. And do any of these packs have, well, it has Rayquaza, so it definitely has some Celestial Storm. Uh, but I think that's probably like the later, like the towards the tail end. I think Ultra Prism, yeah, Cynthia is Ultra Prism, I believe. So, you know, there's only like two or so sets currently that will have it. Although they are, you know, we do know that they're adding some cards like the Legendary Bird Tag Team. Uh, is this the. E Factory? No, it's not that. I Dusk Main Necro. I think I like the other art better than this one, where he's kind of like attacking. And then a Snover. All right, so we only have three packs left. These these things go fast. That's one thing about it is you think you you buy a box. Well, for us it'll be ETB, so I guess it won't be. If anything, for ETBs they'll feel like a little bit more. Where you have ten instead of the eight. But uh, Shrine of Punishment. That's that's a good hit. Volkner. I've been considering teching in, I don't remember what set Volkner's in, but I'm considering teching one into my PTCDO deck. Alright, let's see, we got a Manaphy, a Ranguru with Instruct, a Marshadow GX, and then a Lucario, Shatter Foil. Alright, we're going to need to get really lucky, really clutch up, we need two SRs right here. I've never had a pack with only a single SR. That would be that would be a little heartbreaking. Not gonna lie. This might be Evelyn or something. Wishful Baton. This card's actually pretty good. A Wash Rotom. Uh, Froki. Slugma. Magneton. A Bricks Brixen. Xerneas. Oh boy, I feel like I should have saw an SR already. A Rayquaza. GX. And then another Brixen. Shatter foil. Alright, this is definitely going to be a shiny, right? Let's go for Charmander or Charmeleon. Let's see if we can't call it. We'll give it two options. But uh, yeah, this is the last pack. And if you guys enjoyed this comment, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, definitely hit that sub button. Especially if you're excited for Hidden Fates. We're going to be doing a ton of content. And boom, there we go. Alolan Vulpix with a Zerga tree. I think I've gotten two two shinies in one pack before, which is pretty crazy. That was the first time I've ever seen that happen. But, oh, how could I forget? I'm glad I pulled this, because it does remind me. That's another, going to be very popular, um, Alolan. And I think there's two Ninetales, one GX, one non-GX. So that's definitely my favorite Alolan. So to sum up, we do have a Dartrix shiny, Alolan Vulpix, and a Gardevoir. So very nice. A little disappointed I didn't get a third SR, but that's kind of the that's the going rate is more often than not you get two versus three. So uh, that's it for today's opening. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. And uh, Hidden Face is coming real close and super excited. You know, if you haven't yet and you're considering putting any pre orders in, I highly encourage you to do so before they release just to save some money but uh that's it for for me today as always guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe all down below i'm Juan turtle and i'll catch you guys next time